Hello there! Welcome to Hollywood Inside 1960s. Today, we reflect on the departed stars who left an indelible mark in 2023. As we pay tribute to these iconic celebrities, we'll explore the lasting impact they've had on the entertainment industry. Join us as we remember the legends, their contributions, and the void they've left behind. Stay tuned for an emotional journey through the lives of those we lost in 2023. Number 30. Annie Wershing, born on March 28, 1977, in St. Louis, Missouri, was a remarkable actress whose talent graced Hollywood for decades. Best known for her portrayal of FBI agent Renee Walker in the popular TV series, 24, Wershing captivated audiences with her compelling performances. Tragically, Annie Wershing passed away on January 24, 2023, leaving fans in mourning. Her death resulted from complications related to a prolonged illness she had been battling privately. The news of her passing elicited an outpouring of grief from fans worldwide, who fondly remembered her as a versatile and dedicated actress. Annie Wershing's departure marked the end of an era, but her legacy lives on through the impact she made on the film industry. Her contributions to Hollywood expanded beyond her on-screen roles, influencing the way stories are told and inspiring future generations of actors. The film community will forever remember Annie Wershing for her exceptional talent and lasting influence. Number 29. Richard Belzer, born on August 4, 1944, in Bridgeport, Connecticut, was a multifaceted entertainer whose career spanned various mediums. Widely recognized for his portrayal of Detective John Munch in the long-running TV series Law & Order – Special Victims Unit, Belzer became an integral part of the show's success. Tragically, Richard Belzer passed away on May 13, 2023, leaving fans in mourning. The cause of his death was attributed to natural causes after a long and illustrious career in the entertainment industry. Fans expressed their grief on social media, remembering him not only for his iconic character but also for his contributions to stand-up comedy and acting. Belzer's departure marked the end of an era in television, and his legacy lives on through the impact he had on the crime drama genre. Known for his wit and charm, Richard Belzer's influence extended beyond the screen, leaving an indelible mark on both the comedic and dramatic aspects of Hollywood. Number 28. Burt Bacharach, born on May 12, 1928, in Kansas City, Missouri, was a legendary composer, songwriter, and pianist whose melodies shaped the landscape of popular music. With a career spanning several decades, Bacharach's extraordinary talent garnered widespread acclaim. Renowned for composing timeless hits such as, Raindrops Keep Fallin' On My Head, and, What the World Needs Now Is Love, Burt Bacharach became a musical icon. His collaborations with lyricist Hal David produced a string of chart-topping songs that defined an era. Burt Bacharach passed away on September 1, 2023, leaving behind a legacy of musical brilliance. The cause of his death was attributed to natural causes. Fans worldwide mourned the loss of a musical genius, expressing gratitude for the emotions and memories his compositions evoked. Bacharach's influence on the music industry remains immeasurable, his melodies continuing to inspire new generations of artists. The world remembers him not only for his technical prowess but also for the emotional depth he brought to each note, forever imprinting his mark on the golden era of music. Number 27. Jerry Springer born on February 13, 1944, in London, England, was a charismatic television presenter, actor, and former politician, best known for hosting The Jerry Springer Show. Born in the United Kingdom, Springer later became a prominent figure in American television. His talk show, infamous for its controversial and sensational content, gained massive popularity, turning Jerry Springer into a household name. 
The show's unconventional format and confrontational discussions on various social issues made it both a cultural phenomenon and a subject of debate. Jerry Springer passed away on July 28, 2023, at the age of 79. The cause of death was attributed to natural causes. Fans and critics alike reflected on his impact, acknowledging the show's influence on the talk show genre. While The Jerry Springer Show was often criticized for its confrontational nature, it undeniably left an enduring mark on television history. Jerry Springer will be remembered as an influential figure who pushed the boundaries of television entertainment, creating a legacy that remains embedded in the annals of pop culture. Number 26. Andy Rourke, born on January 17, 1964, in Manchester, England, was a highly influential musician and bassist, best known as a founding member of the iconic alternative rock band, The Smiths. With his distinctive bass lines, Rourke played a crucial role in defining the band's sound during their successful career in the 1980s. The Smiths, fronted by Morrissey and featuring Johnny Marr on guitar, gained critical acclaim for their unique blend of indie rock and poetic lyrics. Rourke's contributions to albums like The Queen is Dead and Meat is Murder solidified the Smiths' reputation as one of the most significant bands of their era. Tragically, Andy Rourke passed away on March 30, 2023, at the age of 59. The cause of his death was attributed to health complications. Fans in the music community mourned the loss of a talented musician, recognizing Rourke's profound impact on alternative music. Andy Rourke's legacy endures through the Smiths' timeless music, and he will forever be remembered as a key figure in the post-punk and indie rock movements, influencing generations of musicians that followed. Number 25. Tina Turner, born Anna Mae Bullock on November 26, 1939 in Nutbush, Tennessee, was an iconic singer, songwriter, and actress. Known as the Queen of Rock and Roll, Turner's career spanned over six decades, making her one of the best-selling music artists in history. Tina Turner rose to fame in the 1960s as part of the duo Ike and Tina Turner, achieving success with hits like River Deep, Mountain High. However, her solo career soared in the 1980s, marked by the release of the album Private Dancer, featuring the chart-topping single What's Love Got To Do With It? Regrettably, Tina Turner passed away on December 12, 2023, at the age of 84. The cause of her death was attributed to natural causes. Fans worldwide mourned the loss of a musical legend, praising her powerful voice, energetic performances, and resilience in overcoming personal challenges. Tina Turner's impact on the music industry transcends genres, and she will be remembered as a symbol of strength and inspiration. Her influence on rock, pop, and soul music remains immeasurable, leaving an enduring legacy that continues to inspire generations to come. Number 24. Cindy Williams, whose real name is Cynthia Jane Williams, was born on August 22, 1947, in Van Nuys, California, USA, and passed away on January 25, 2023, in Los Angeles, California, USA. She was an outstanding actress, best known for her role as Shirley Feeney in the television sitcoms Happy Days, 1975-1979, and Laverne and Shirley, 1976-1982. Recognized not only for her television career, Cindy Williams also left a mark with roles in famous films like American Graffiti, 1973, and The Conversation, 1974. Cindy Williams's death, caused by a brief illness, has left a deep sadness in the artistic community and audiences worldwide. Her passing is not only a personal loss but also a significant one for the film industry. Ron Howard, Henry Winkler, and Michael McKean all expressed their condolences, emphasizing Cindy Williams's talent and infectious joy, and her ability to make people laugh will be remembered forever.
Number 23. In 2023, the entertainment industry mourned the loss of the legendary guitarist, Gary Rossington. Born on December 4, 1951, in Jacksonville, Florida, Rossington became a household name through his founding role in the iconic rock band Leonard Skinnerd. Rossington's musical journey with Leonard Skinnerd included unforgettable performances and timeless hits like Free Bird and Sweet Home Alabama, solidifying his status as a rock icon. His exceptional guitar skills and songwriting contributions played a pivotal role in defining the southern rock genre. Tragically, Gary Rossington passed away on July 28, 2023, succumbing to complications related to a long-standing health issue. The news sent shockwaves through the music community, and fans around the world expressed their grief, highlighting the profound impact Rossington had on their lives. His legacy endures through the timeless music he created with Leonard Skinnerd, and his influence on the rock genre remains palpable. Gary Rossington's contribution to the world of music will forever be remembered, and his absence leaves a void that resonates deeply within the hearts of fans and fellow musicians alike. Number 22. The world bid a poignant farewell to the iconic entertainer, Harry Belafonte. Born on March 1, 1927, in Harlem, New York, Belafonte carved his name in history as a versatile artist, excelling as a singer, actor, and social activist. Belafonte's fame skyrocketed with his musical prowess, delivering timeless classics like Day O, The Banana Boat Song, and Jamaica Farewell. His acting career, marked by roles in films such as Carmen Jones and Island in the Sun, further showcased his multifaceted talents. On March 1, 2023, Harry Belafonte passed away on his 96th birthday, leaving behind a legacy that extended beyond entertainment. The cause of his passing was attributed to natural causes after a lifetime of significant contributions to the arts and activism. The global community mourned the loss of this cultural luminary, expressing gratitude for Belafonte's tireless advocacy for civil rights and social justice. His impact on Hollywood, not just as a performer but as an influential figure, continues to resonate, inspiring future generations to use their platforms for positive change. Number 21. The entertainment world bid farewell to the legendary guitarist, Jeff Beck. Born on June 24, 1944, in Wallington, Surrey, England, Beck's unparalleled talent and innovative contributions to rock and blues earned him global acclaim. Jeff Beck rose to fame through his groundbreaking work with the Yardbirds and the Jeff Beck Group, where his distinctive style and hits like Heart Full of Soul and Beck's Bolero solidified his status as a guitar virtuoso. His solo career continued to shine, earning him multiple Grammy Awards. Tragically, on September 24, 2023, Jeff Beck passed away at the age of 79, succumbing to natural causes. The news of his departure prompted an outpouring of grief from fans worldwide, who expressed their sorrow on social media, sharing memories of his electrifying performances and musical influence. Jeff Beck's legacy extends far beyond his time, leaving an indelible impact on the music industry. His technical brilliance and genre-defying approach continue to inspire aspiring musicians, ensuring that his contributions to the world of rock and blues will be remembered for generations to come. Number 20. Paul James O'Grady, MBEDL, born on June 14, 1955, in Tranmere, Cheshire, England, was a multifaceted figure known for his roles as an English comedian, broadcaster, drag queen, actor, and writer. Rising to prominence in the London gay scene during the 1980s, he gained fame with his drag persona Lily Savage. Lily Savage, portrayed by O'Grady, became a household name as the presenter of television shows like The Big Breakfast, 1995-1996, Blankety Blank, 1997-2002, and Lily Live. 2000-2001 Transitioning away from the character in the 2000s, O'Grady hosted various television and radio programs, notably The Paul O'Grady Show. 
Paul O'Grady passed away on March 28, 2023, at his home in Aldington, Kent, England, due to sudden cardiac arrhythmia, linked to ischemic heart disease. The news of his unexpected but peaceful passing elicited shock and sadness from audiences. Attendees at some of his final performances paid tribute to his energetic and captivating stage presence. O'Grady's charisma made him a beloved figure, and he was remembered as a gay hero who challenged prejudice and celebrated gay culture. Paul O'Grady's impact on Hollywood and the entertainment industry was substantial. By bringing his drag act from gay clubs to the mainstream, he demonstrated that individuals from the LGBTQ community could be relatable to the broader public. His groundbreaking work, especially as Lily Savage, paved the way for future performers. Number 19. Pat Cooper, born Pasquale Vito Caputo on July 31, 1929, in Brooklyn, New York City, USA, was a prominent American actor and comedian. Renowned for his witty performances on popular shows like The Howard Stern Show, I Miss in the Morning, and Opie and Anthony, Cooper left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. His portrayal of Masiello in the films Analyze This, 1999, and Analyze That, 2002, showcased his versatility and comedic prowess. Tragically, Pat Cooper passed away on June 6, 2023, in Las Vegas, Nevada, USA. While the exact cause of his death remains undisclosed, it was revealed that he battled numerous health issues, signaling the inevitable end. Audiences worldwide expressed admiration for Cooper's work, praising his non-stop, rapid-fire delivery and his on-stage persona, earning him the moniker, Comedian of Outrage. A frequent guest on late-night talk shows, from Ed Sullivan to Howard Stern's radio program in the 1980s, Cooper's comedic legacy transcended generations. His impact on Hollywood and the entertainment industry was profound. From nightclubs in Atlantic City to Las Vegas, Cooper shared the stage with icons like Frank Sinatra, Bobby Darin, Tony Bennett, Jerry Lewis, Sammy Davis Jr., Ella Fitzgerald, and Liza Minnelli. His unique comedic style permeated the mainstream influencing a generation of comedians who followed in his footsteps. Number 18. We remember with sadness the passing of Jacqueline Zeman, whose real name was Lana H. Zeman. Born on March 6, 1953, in Englewood, New Jersey, USA, she was an American actress renowned for her role as Barbara Bobby Spencer on the long-running soap opera General Hospital. Zeman's career spanned several decades, and her portrayal of Bobby made her a beloved figure in the world of daytime television. Jacqueline Zeman departed on August 24, 2023, leaving behind a legacy of talent and dedication to her craft. The cause of her death has been attributed to complications from a long-term illness, which she valiantly faced. Fans and colleagues alike expressed deep sorrow at the news of Zeman's passing. Her contributions to General Hospital were widely praised, and her character became an integral part of the show's narrative. Known for her warmth and professionalism, Jacqueline Zeman's impact on the soap opera genre is undeniable, and her absence is keenly felt by those who admired her work. In Hollywood, her passing was marked by tributes from fellow actors and fans alike. Her influence on the soap opera landscape and her significant role in General Hospital have left an enduring mark on the entertainment industry, and she will be remembered as a talented actress who graced the screens and hearts of many. Number 17. The music world mourns the loss of David Crosby, a legendary American singer-songwriter. Born on August 14, 1941, in Los Angeles, California, Crosby was a founding member of the iconic folk rock band The Birds. His contributions extended beyond The Birds to Crosby, Stills and Nash, and later Crosby, Stills, Nash and Young, creating timeless classics that defined an era. 
David Crosby passed away on November 23, 2023, leaving a void in the hearts of music enthusiasts worldwide. The cause of his death was reportedly complications related to his long-standing health issues. Crosby's impact on the music industry was profound. His distinctive voice, intricate guitar work, and poignant songwriting made him an influential figure. Hits like, Guinevere, and, Wooden Ships, showcased his artistic brilliance. Fans and fellow musicians alike expressed grief at the news, recognizing Crosby's significant role in shaping the folk and rock genres. As a two-time Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductee, David Crosby's legacy will endure through the melodies that touched countless lives. His departure marks the end of an era, but his influence on the landscape of American music will resonate for generations to come. Number 16. In 2023, the world mourned the loss of Lisa Marie Presley, born on February 1, 1968, in Memphis, Tennessee. Lisa, the only child of the legendary Elvis Presley, passed away on July 12, 2023. Known for her contributions to the music industry, Lisa's captivating voice and soulful performances earned her recognition. Lisa Marie Presley, apart from being the daughter of the king of rock and roll, had a notable career in music with albums like, To Whom It May Concern, and, Now What? Her unique style and powerful lyrics resonated with many fans worldwide. The cause of Lisa Marie's untimely demise was attributed to health complications, including cardiovascular issues. Fans expressed shock and grief across social media platforms, remembering her as a talented artist who carried on her father's musical legacy. Lisa Marie Presley's passing left a void in the music industry, marking the end of an era for the Presley family. Her influence on the Hollywood music scene will be remembered, and her legacy will continue to shape the landscape of the entertainment world. Number 15. In the somber year of 2023, the entertainment industry bid farewell to the remarkable actor Lance Reddick. Born on June 7, 1962, in Baltimore, Maryland, Reddick left an indelible mark on the world of cinema. Renowned for his compelling portrayals, he soared to fame through iconic roles, notably Cedric Daniels in the celebrated television series, The Wire, and Philip Broyles in the science fiction masterpiece, Fringe. Tragedy struck on September 3, 2023, when Lance Reddick departed this world, leaving fans and colleagues in shock. The cause of his untimely demise was attributed to complications arising from a prolonged health condition, as confirmed by a statement from his grieving family. The news reverberated across the globe, and an outpouring of grief ensued on social media platforms. Fans and the entertainment community alike expressed profound sadness at the loss of this versatile and accomplished actor. Lance Reddick's legacy transcends his on-screen brilliance, impacting Hollywood in ways that resonate long after his passing. His absence leaves a void in the industry, reminding us of the fragility of life and the enduring influence of those who captivate audiences on the silver screen. Number 14. The year 2023 marked the departure of the esteemed ballroom dancer and television personality, Len Goodman. Born on April 25, 1944, in Bromley, Kent, England, Goodman was a distinguished figure in the world of dance and entertainment. Widely recognized as a head judge on the immensely popular dance competition show, Strictly Come Dancing, Len Goodman became a household name for his expert critiques and charming demeanor. Tragically, Len Goodman passed away on November 15, 2023, at the age of 79. His death was attributed to complications arising from a long-term health condition. Fans and colleagues mourned the loss of this beloved dance icon, expressing their sorrow and gratitude for his contributions to the world of dance. Len Goodman's absence resonated deeply within the dance community, and his legacy endures through the countless dancers he inspired and the joy he brought to audiences worldwide. His impact on the dance industry remains indelible, solidifying his status as a revered figure in the history of ballroom dance.
Number 13. The entertainment world bid farewell to singer and actor Paul Cattermole in 2023. Born on March 7, 1977, in St Albans, Hertfordshire, England, Cattermole gained fame as a member of the British pop group S Club 7. The group achieved tremendous success in the late 1990s and early 2000s with hits like Bring It All Back and Never Had a Dream Come True. Tragically, Paul Cattermole passed away on July 17, 2023, at the age of 46. The cause of death was revealed to be complications related to a chronic health condition he had been battling for several years. Fans and fellow artists mourned the loss of this talented musician, remembering his charismatic stage presence and contributions to the music industry. The news of Cattermole's untimely demise sparked an outpouring of tributes on social media, highlighting the impact he had on a generation of music lovers. His legacy lives on through the timeless music he created with S Club 7, and his absence leaves a void in the hearts of fans who cherished his work. Number 12. The year 2023 marked a somber moment for the entertainment industry as it bid farewell to the rising star, Angus Cloud. Born on September 11, 1998, in Oakland, California, Cloud quickly became a prominent figure in Hollywood, earning acclaim for his compelling performances. He gained widespread recognition for his role as Fesco in the hit television series, Euphoria. Tragically, Angus Cloud passed away on April 28, 2023, at the age of 29. The cause of his untimely demise was linked to a sudden and severe health complication, leaving fans and colleagues in shock. The news of his passing spread rapidly, prompting an outpouring of grief on social media, with fans expressing their sadness at the loss of such a talented and promising actor. Angus Cloud's departure leaves a void in the entertainment world, cutting short a burgeoning career that held great promise. His impact on the industry and the hearts of those who admired his work will be remembered as a poignant chapter in Hollywood's narrative reminding us of the unpredictable nature of life in the spotlight. Number 11. The year 2023 marked the departure of a legendary figure in the world of Mexican cinema and theater, Ignacio López Tarso. Born on January 15, 1925, in Mexico City, López Tarso became an iconic actor known for his powerful and emotive performances. His career spanned decades, earning him widespread acclaim and respect. Ignacio López Tarso passed away on May 29, 2023, at the age of 98, leaving behind an unparalleled legacy. The cause of his death was attributed to natural causes. Lopez Tarso's illustrious career included memorable roles in films like Macario and The Moth, as well as numerous stage productions. Fans and the entertainment community mourned the loss of this titan in Mexican entertainment. Lopez Tarso's impact on the cultural landscape was immense, and his contributions to Mexican cinema and theater will be remembered for generations. His passing represents the end of an era, but his influence on the arts in Mexico will endure as a testament to his extraordinary talent and dedication. Number 10. The entertainment world mourned the loss of the iconic actress Stella Stevens in 2023. Born on October 1, 1938, in Yazoo City, Mississippi, Stevens became a celebrated figure in Hollywood known for her versatility and captivating performances. Her career included memorable roles in films such as The Nutty Professor and The Poseidon Adventure. Tragically, Stella Stevens passed away on July 9, 2023, at the age of 84. The cause of her death was revealed to be complications from a long-term illness. Fans and fellow actors expressed their sorrow at the departure of this legendary actress, recognizing her contributions to the golden era of cinema. Stella Stevens' impact reached beyond the silver screen, extending to television and stage productions. Her talent and charisma left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. 
The news of her passing prompted an outpouring of tributes, with many acknowledging her as a trailblazer for women in film. Stella Stevens' legacy lives on through her timeless performances, reminding us of the enduring influence of Hollywood legends. Number 9. Tony Bennett, born Anthony Dominic Benedetto on August 3, 1926, in the heart of New York City, USA, Tony Bennett left an indelible mark on the world of American jazz and traditional pop. His journey through the realm of music was nothing short of extraordinary, characterized by a smooth voice and unparalleled interpretive skills that transcended genres. Tony Bennett's illustrious career was adorned with numerous accolades, a testament to his musical prowess. With an impressive collection of 20 Grammy Awards, a Lifetime Achievement Award, and two Primetime Emmy Awards, he solidified his status as one of the most decorated artists in the industry. On July 21, 2023, in the city that witnessed his birth and the flourishing of his musical legacy, Tony Bennett bid his final farewell. His passing marked the end of an era, leaving behind a profound void in the hearts of music lovers worldwide. His contributions to jazz and pop music resonated across generations, and his impact on the industry was immeasurable. Tony Bennett's legacy extends beyond the awards and accolades. His timeless classics, including I Left My Heart in San Francisco and Fly Me to the Moon, continue to enchant audiences, ensuring that his voice remains etched in the annals of music history. As the curtains close on Tony Bennett's remarkable journey, his melodies will persist, carrying the essence of his artistry and the spirit of a true musical icon. His life and contributions will be celebrated for years to come, an everlasting tribute to a man whose voice became the soundtrack of our lives. Number 8. Gina Lolo Brigida, born on July 4, 1927, in Subiaco, Italy, captured the hearts of audiences worldwide with her unparalleled charm and acting prowess. The legendary Italian actress, often referred to as the world's most beautiful woman, left an indelible mark on Hollywood. Renowned for her roles in classic films such as Beat the Devil, 1953, and The Hunchback of Notre Dame, 1956, Lolo Brigida's magnetic on-screen presence and versatile performances earned her international acclaim. Her beauty and talent transcended borders, solidifying her status as a cinematic icon. Tragically, Gina Lolo Brigida bid farewell to the world on January 20, 2023. The beloved actress passed away peacefully at the age of 95. The cause of her death was attributed to natural causes, marking the end of an era in the entertainment industry. Fans and fellow actors mourned the loss of a true Hollywood legend. Social media platforms overflowed with tributes, celebrating Lolo Brigida's contributions to film and expressing gratitude for the memories she left behind. Her departure sparked a collective reflection on the golden era of Hollywood, where she stood as a symbol of grace and talent. Gina Lolo Brigida's legacy endures, influencing aspiring actors and leaving an everlasting impact on the cinematic landscape. Her contribution to the world of entertainment ensures that she will be remembered not only for her beauty but also for the timeless artistry she brought to the silver screen, eternally preserving her as a beacon of inspiration in the hearts of film enthusiasts worldwide. Number 7. Paxton Whitehead, born on October 17, 1937, in Kent, England, was a distinguished actor known for his remarkable contributions to both the stage and screen. His career spanned decades, leaving an indelible impact on the world of entertainment. Whitehead's versatility and commanding stage presence made him a luminary in the theater world. Renowned for his Shakespearean performances and Broadway roles, he enchanted audiences with his talent and charisma. His notable roles in plays such as My Fair Lady and Camelot showcased his extraordinary acting prowess. Tragically, on April 5, 2023, 
Paxton Whitehead bid his final farewell at the age of 85. His passing was attributed to complications from a long-term illness. The news left fans and the entertainment community mourning the loss of a consummate actor. Tributes poured in on social media, celebrating Whitehead's theatrical legacy and the impact he had on the performing arts. His departure marked the end of an era, with many acknowledging his significant contributions to the world of theater and film. Paxton Whitehead's legacy lives on, influencing aspiring actors and theater enthusiasts. His body of work, characterized by depth and passion, remains a testament to his dedication to the craft. Although he may no longer grace the stage, his contributions continue to resonate, ensuring his place as a revered figure in the annals of theatrical history. Number 6. Ray Stevenson, born on May 25, 1964, in Lisburn, Northern Ireland, emerged as a powerhouse in the world of film and television. His commanding presence and versatile acting skills propelled him to prominence, making him a respected figure in the entertainment industry. Stevenson gained widespread recognition for his portrayal of Titus Pullo in the historical drama series, Rome, 2005-2007. His compelling performance in this critically acclaimed show showcased his ability to breathe life into complex characters. Following his success on the small screen, Stevenson seamlessly transitioned to blockbuster films. Known for his physically demanding roles, Stevenson took on the iconic character of Frank Castle, also known as the Punisher, in Punisher, War Zone, 2008. His intense and gritty portrayal earned praise from fans and critics alike. Stevenson continued to leave an impact with roles in major franchises such as Thor, 2011, and King Arthur, Legend of the Sword, 2017. Tragically, the entertainment world mourned the loss of Ray Stevenson on September 15, 2023. The actor passed away at the age of 59 due to complications from a sudden illness. Fans and colleagues expressed their grief on social media, acknowledging Stevenson's dedication to his craft and his influential contributions to the world of cinema and television. Ray Stevenson's legacy endures through his memorable performances, leaving an indelible mark on the hearts of audiences. His ability to embody diverse characters and deliver powerful performances ensures that he will be remembered as a resilient force in the cinematic landscape, forever etched in the annals of film and television history. Number 5. Alan Arkin, born on March 26, 1934, in Brooklyn, New York, Alan Arkin graced the entertainment world with a versatile career that spanned over six decades. Excelling both on stage and on screen, he left an indelible mark on the industry. Arkin gained widespread acclaim for his compelling performances in films like The Russians Are Coming, The Russians Are Coming, 1966, and The Heart Is a Lonely Hunter, 1968, earning Academy Award nominations. His seamless transition between comedic and dramatic roles showcased his remarkable acting range. In the later years of his career, Arkin continued to captivate audiences with memorable roles in films such as Little Miss Sunshine, 2006, where he earned the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor. His nuanced portrayals of complex characters and distinctive comedic timing solidified his status as a revered figure in Hollywood. On May 17, 2023, the world mourned the loss of Alan Arkin, who passed away peacefully at the age of 89. His legacy lives on through his extensive body of work, influencing generations of actors and earning him a permanent place in the hearts of film enthusiasts. Fans and colleagues paid tribute to Arkin's contributions to the arts, recognizing his talent, wit, and dedication to the craft. The entertainment industry had lost a true luminary, but Alan Arkin's timeless performances ensured that he will be celebrated for generations to come. Number 4. Raquel Welch, born Joe Raquel Tejada on September 5, 1940, in Chicago, Illinois, USA, Raquel Welch became an iconic American actress whose career left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. She gained prominence with her breakthrough role in Fantastic Voyage, 1966, and subsequently signed a significant long-term contract with 20th Century Fox. Raquel Welch, 
whose real name was Joe Raquel Tejada, unfortunately passed away on February 15, 2023, in Los Angeles, California, USA. Her death was attributed to cardiac arrest, with Alzheimer's disease listed as a contributing factor. Throughout her illustrious career, Welch became renowned for her roles in a variety of films, including One Million Years BC, 1966, Bedazzled, 1967, Bandolero, 1968, 100 Rifles, 1969, Myra Breckenridge, 1970, Honey Calder, 1971, Kansas City Bomber, 1972, The Last of Sheila, 1973, The Three Musketeers, 1973, The Wild Party, 1975, and Mother, Jugs and Speed, 1976. Her stellar performance as Constance Bonaccio in The Three Musketeers earned her a Golden Globe Award for Best Motion Picture Actress in a Musical or Comedy in 1974. Raquel Welch's legacy endures through her captivating on-screen presence and the impact she had on Hollywood. Her contributions to the world of cinema and her ability to transcend traditional expectations of beauty made her a trailblazer in the industry, and she remains a celebrated figure in the hearts of fans worldwide. Number 3. In 2023, the entertainment industry mourned the loss of the iconic Paul Rubens. Born on August 27, 1952, in Peekskill, New York, Paul Rubens, also known as Pee Wee Herman, captured hearts with his comedic genius and distinctive character. Paul Rubens rose to prominence through his groundbreaking role as Pee Wee Herman, a quirky and lovable character in Pee Wee's Playhouse and Pee Wee's Big Adventure. His unique portrayal and comedic timing made him a beloved figure in the world of entertainment. Unfortunately, Paul Rubens passed away on March 12, 2023, leaving fans in shock and sadness. The cause of his death was attributed to complications from a long-standing health condition, which he had battled privately. The news of Paul Rubens' demise triggered an outpouring of grief from fans worldwide, who fondly remembered him for his contributions to comedy and entertainment. His passing marked the end of an era, and many expressed their gratitude for the joy and laughter he brought into their lives. Paul Rubens' legacy continues to influence Hollywood, as his timeless work in character-driven comedy and entertainment remains a source of inspiration for future generations. His impact on the industry ensures that Pee Wee Herman's whimsical charm will forever be etched in the annals of Hollywood history. Number 2. In 2023, the wrestling world bid farewell to the legendary figure, the Iron Sheik, whose real name was Hossein Khosrau Ali Vaziri. Born on March 15, 1942, in Tehran, Iran, the Iron Sheik left an indelible mark on the professional wrestling scene. The Iron Sheik gained fame during the 1980s as a fierce and charismatic villain in the World Wrestling Federation WWF. His portrayal of an Iranian character, coupled with his signature move, the Camel Clutch, made him a formidable force in the ring. The Iron Sheik's rivalry with Hulk Hogan in 1984, which culminated in Hogan's victory, remains one of the most iconic moments in wrestling history. Tragically, the Iron Sheik passed away on July 17, 2023, at the age of 81. The cause of his death was attributed to complications from age-related health issues. Wrestling enthusiasts worldwide mourned the loss of a true wrestling icon. Fans and fellow wrestlers alike expressed their gratitude for the Iron Sheik's contributions to the sport. His legacy endures through the impact he had on professional wrestling, influencing future generations of wrestlers and leaving an everlasting imprint on the WWE and the broader wrestling community. Number 1. In 2023, the entertainment world mourned the loss of the multifaceted performer, Barry Humphreys. Born on February 17, 1934, in Melbourne, Australia, Humphreys was a renowned actor, comedian, 
and satirist who captivated audiences globally. Barry Humphreys achieved fame through his alter ego, the flamboyant and irreverent character, Dame Edna Everidge. As Dame Edna, Humphreys entertained audiences for decades with her sharp wit, outrageous fashion sense, and comedic flair. The character became a cultural icon and a symbol of satirical humor. Tragically, Barry Humphreys passed away on June 22, 2023, at the age of 89. The cause of his death was related to complications from a prolonged illness, and his departure left a void in the world of comedy and entertainment. Fans and colleagues fondly remembered Humphreys for his contributions to the arts. His ability to push boundaries and challenge societal norms through satire was widely appreciated. Barry Humphreys' legacy endures not only through his memorable performances but also through the influence he had on shaping the landscape of comedic expression. Gina Lolo Brigida was born on July 4, 1927, in Rome, Italy. She was one of the world's most famous film stars in the 1950s. Her role as Maria Fiori in the film, Fan Fan La Tulipi, in 1952 made her an international star and earned her the title of the most beautiful woman in the world. Lolo Brigida's illustrious career spanned over five decades with diverse roles, earning praise from critics. She won six Bambi Awards, one Golden Globe, and numerous other prestigious accolades. Apart from acting, Lolo Brigida was a successful photojournalist. From 1972 to 1994, she published six photo collections, including the titled, Italia Mia, in 1973. Lolo Brigida passed away at the age of 95 in a clinic in Rome on January 16, 2023. Her departure was a significant loss to the public, who will always remember her as the glamorous Hollywood icon of the 1960s. Michael Gambon was born on October 19, 1940, in Ireland. He was a well-known film actor with a regular presence on the screen, capturing the audience's attention. His breakthrough role was as Galileo in the play, Life of Galileo, at the National Theatre in 1980, a performance that earned him the Olivier Award for Best Actor. His portrayal of headmaster Albus Dumbledore in the Harry Potter film series also brought him global fame and endeared him to young audiences. Over his six-decade career, he won three Olivier Awards out of 13 nominations and four BAFTA TV Awards. In 1998, he was knighted by Queen Elizabeth II for his services to the performing arts. In 2020, he was ranked 28th in the Irish Times list of the greatest Irish film actors. Not only known for his on-screen presence, he was also recognized for his voice acting roles. He passed away at the age of 82, leaving a sense of sorrow among audiences worldwide. His portrayal of the wizard Dumbledore left a profound mark in the hearts of viewers whenever Michael Gambon's name is mentioned. Stella Stevens was born on October 1, 1938, in Yazoo City, Mississippi. She was one of the most alluring icons of Hollywood in the 1960s. Her portrayal of Stella Purdy in the romantic comedy film, The Nutty Professor, alongside Jerry Lewis in 1963 elevated her to the ranks of a list stars. Over her career spanning more than four decades, Stella Stevens appeared in over 100 films and television productions, showcasing her versatility in various roles. She won a Golden Globe Award for Best Supporting Actress in 1960. Apart from her acting career, Stella was a regular feature in Playboy magazine and ranked 27th in the list of the 100 Sexiest Stars of the 20th Century by Playboy. In the 1960s, she was one of the most photographed female stars worldwide. She passed away at the age of 84 in Los Angeles due to complications from Alzheimer's disease. Her departure left a deep imprint, particularly with the sensual image she embodied during the Hollywood era of the 1960s. Paul Rubens was born on August 27, 1952, in Troy, New York. 
He was a comedic actor and talented producer. His portrayal of Pee Wee Herman in the late 1970s turned Paul Rubens into a phenomenon, becoming an iconic figure in American comedy culture in the 1980s. Throughout his nearly five-decade-long career, he appeared in numerous films, television shows, and produced several popular entertainment programs. The character Pee Wee, created by Rubens, maintained enduring popularity with both children and adults. The Playhouse Christmas Special in 1988 earned 15 Emmy Awards on its debut. In addition to acting, he found success as a director and producer. Rubens passed away at the age of 70 in July 2023, with the reported cause being cancer. His unique comedic style will always be remembered by the public. Piper Laurie was born on January 22, 1932, in Detroit, Michigan. She was a talented film and television actress. Her role as Sarah in the iconic horror film, Carrie, in 1976 brought Piper Laurie to a new generation of moviegoers. She received an Oscar nomination for Best Supporting Actress for her unforgettable performance. Over her seven-decade-long career, Piper Laurie appeared in numerous films, television shows, and stage productions. She won a Golden Globe and three Emmy Awards for her outstanding contributions. Beyond acting, she had a passion for sculpture, and her artworks were displayed in various art exhibitions. Lori passed away at the age of 91 in Los Angeles. Her talent and contributions will be fondly remembered by the public. Mark Margolis was born on November 2, 1939, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He was a talented Jewish film and television actor. His portrayal of Hector Salamanca in the popular series Breaking Bad brought Mark Margolis to a wide audience and earned him an Emmy nomination. Additionally, he participated in the science fiction television series Star Trek. Over his six-decade-long career, Mark Margolis appeared in over 100 films and television programs, often taking on antagonistic roles. Despite his television success, Margolis dedicated time to stage acting and became a renowned Broadway artist. Margolis passed away at the age of 83, after more than 60 years of dedication to the arts. His passion served as inspiration for younger generations pursuing their artistic dreams. Richard Roundtree was born on July 9, 1942, in New Rochelle, New York. He was an African-American film actor. His role as Detective John Shaft in the Shaft film series in the early 1970s made Richard Roundtree an icon of the black exploitation action film genre. He was the first black star of this film genre. In addition to the original Shaft, he appeared in other successful films like Shaft's Big Score and Shaft in Africa. Over his five-decade-long career, Roundtree appeared in over 80 films and television productions, showcasing versatility in various roles. Roundtree is credited with influencing the rise of African-American lead actors in Hollywood projects. Beyond acting, Richard Roundtree was an active social advocate, supporting organizations that championed the rights of black individuals and LGBTQ issues. He passed away at the age of 81 due to cancer, leaving behind action-packed roles that have left a lasting impact on audiences. Ryan O'Neill was born on April 20, 1941, in Los Angeles. He was a male actor born into an artistic family. His role as Oliver Barrett IV in the romantic drama film, Love Story, in 1970 catapulted Ryan O'Neill to the ranks of Hollywood's A-list film stars. The role earned him Oscar and Golden Globe nominations for Best Actor. Over his nearly 60-year career, O'Neill appeared in over 50 films and television programs, showcasing his versatility in various roles. Beyond acting, O'Neill found success in business. He was the founder of O'Neill Productions, a film production company. He passed away at the age of 82. His lengthy and successful career serves as a testament to his passion and artistic talent.
Michael Gambon, born on October 19, 1940, in Cabra, Dublin, was an Irish-born British actor celebrated for his notable contributions to television, film, and stage. He gained international acclaim for portraying headmaster Albus Dumbledore in the Harry Potter film series, succeeding Richard Harris. His illustrious career included diverse roles, with critically acclaimed performances in films such as The Singing Detective, 1986, and The Cook, The Thief, His Wife and Her Lover, 1989. Gambon was also renowned for his stage work, receiving numerous awards for his theatrical performances, including the Laurence Olivier Award for Best Actor in 1998. Michael Gambon's achievements encompass accolades like the Laurence Olivier Award and the Tony Award. His legacy is marked by a rich and versatile career, showcasing his mastery across various genres and mediums in the acting world. Gambon passed away in Witham, England, on September 27, 2023, at the age of 82, following a bout of pneumonia. David Crosby, singer and guitarist, was born on August 14, 1941, in Los Angeles, California. Crosby rose to fame in influential bands like The Birds and Crosby, Stills, Nash and Young, CSNY. He was a pioneering figure in blending folk and rock music, and his ethereal harmonies and profound songwriting contributed to the success of both bands. Crosby also had a successful solo career. His 1971 studio album, If I Could Only Remember My Name, received critical acclaim and won the Grammy Award for Best Rock Album. Throughout his career, Crosby faced various personal challenges, including substance abuse and legal issues. Nevertheless, he remained one of the most influential artists in rock music history. Crosby was twice inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, once with The Birds and once with CSNY. He passed away on January 18, 2023, at the age of 81. Richard Belzer was an American stand-up comedian, actor, and television personality, born on August 4, 1944, in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Widely known for his portrayal of Detective John Munch in the television series Homicide, Life on the Street, 1993-1999, and Law and & Order, Special Victims Unit, 1999-2016, Belzer's humor and unique style contributed to his success as an independent stand-up comedian. He made appearances on numerous talk shows and comedy specials throughout his career. Belzer showcased his talent in both comedic and dramatic roles, earning the affection of audiences. Beyond his entertainment career, Belzer was an active advocate and contributor to various charitable activities. Richard Belzer passed away on February 19, 2023, at the age of 78. He left a lasting legacy in the entertainment industry, particularly through his memorable portrayal of Detective Munch. Lance Reddick, born on December 31, 1962, in Baltimore, Maryland, was a talented actor and musician. He gained fame for his role as Cedric Daniels in the popular television series The Wire, 2002-2008. Reddick's compelling portrayal of the seasoned police lieutenant showcased his acting prowess, earning him the Screen Actors Guild Award for Outstanding Performance. He continued to achieve notable success in television, playing Philip Broyles in Fringe, 2008-2013, and Karen in the John Wick film series. His commanding presence and versatility allowed him to navigate both dramatic and science fiction genres. Lance Reddick passed away on March 17, 2023, at the age of 60, due to heart disease and coronary artery disease. His career will be remembered by the public as an icon of talent and diversity in acting. Actress Annie Wershing, born on March 28, 1977, in St. Louis, Missouri, was known for her versatile performances, particularly her role as FBI agent Renee Walker in the popular TV series, 24, 2009-2010. Wershing began her career with guest roles in television shows like Love American Style and The Practice. 
She achieved a breakthrough with her role in 24 in 2009, earning critical acclaim for her performance. She received a Golden Globe nomination for Outstanding Supporting Actress for this role. Wershing was a talented actress with a successful career, becoming a beloved figure in the television acting world. Unfortunately, on January 29, 2023, Wershing passed away at the age of 45 after being diagnosed with cancer. Jerry Springer, born on February 13, 1944, in London, England, was an actor and television host renowned for The Jerry Springer Show, a controversial talk show known for its confrontational and sensational content. Springer began his career in politics, serving as the mayor of Cincinnati, Ohio, before transitioning to television. The Jerry Springer Show quickly became a cultural phenomenon in the 1990s, known for wild and unpredictable storylines involving conflicts, infidelity, and bizarre situations. The show received both criticism and high ratings. Springer used his fame to achieve success in the entertainment industry, hosting numerous programs and appearing on various media outlets. On April 27, 2023, Jerry Springer passed away at the age of 79 due to pancreatic cancer. He was a prominent and influential figure in popular culture. Born on April 25, 1944, in Kent, England, Leonard Gordon Goodman was a renowned choreographer and ballroom dance judge, widely known for being the head judge on the BBC series, Strictly Come Dancing, from 2004 to 2016 and a judge on American, Dancing with the Stars. Goodman commenced his dance career at a young age, swiftly becoming a successful competitive dancer. His extensive knowledge and expertise in ballroom and Latin dance, combined with his captivating judging style, made him beloved on both sides of the Atlantic. Throughout his career, Goodman received numerous awards, including a Lifetime Achievement Award at the UK National Dance Awards. His legacy in the world of dance and popular culture was marked by his passion for dance on and off the dance floor. Goodman passed away on April 22, 2023, at the age of 78 due to bone cancer. Numner 50. Andy Rourke, born on January 17, 1964, in Manchester, England. Andy Rourke was an English musician best known as the bassist of the iconic indie rock band The Smiths in the 1980s. Regarded as one of the greatest bassists of his generation, Rourke's melodic and funk-inspired bass playing contributed significantly to The Smiths' success. After the band's dissolution in 1987, Rourke continued his musical journey, collaborating with various artists and forming bands like Freebase and DARK. His versatile career spanned multiple genres, leaving an indelible mark on alternative and indie rock. Rourke passed away on May 19, 2023, at the age of 59, succumbing to pancreatic cancer. His departure was a significant loss to the music world. Thank you for joining us on this heartfelt journey through the memories of the stars we lost in 2023. If you enjoyed this tribute and want more exclusive content, don't forget to hit the like button, share with fellow enthusiasts, and subscribe to Hollywood Inside 1960s for regular updates. Your support means the world to us as we continue to explore the golden era of entertainment. Until next time, stay tuned for more captivating stories from the glamorous world of Hollywood.